Namaste everyone. Excellencies, distinguished speakers and experts from G20 members, guest countries and international organizations, ladies and gentlemen. As we conclude the first global thematic webinar on protection and restitution of cultural property, organized by the Culture Working Group in partnership of India's G20 Presidency, in partnership with UNESCO, a knowledge partner. I would like to express my deep gratitude to all participants for their valuable contributions. Today, we have engaged in an enriching and collaborative dialogue, delving into good practices, addressing gaps and challenges, while proposing actions that will inform and guide the Culture Working Group in shaping action-oriented outcomes around the first priority area set forth by the Indian Presidency. This inclusive dialogue stands as a testament to our commitment towards ensuring the lasting legacy of our joint efforts and the sustainability of the G20 Culture Working Group process over time. I would also like to extend a special thank you to our moderators from UNIDRA, UNESCO and Interpol for the committed leadership and unwavering support throughout this global thematic webinar. Furthermore, I am deeply grateful for UNESCO's ongoing collaboration with the Culture Working Group under India's presidency as a knowledge partner, notably in organizing the thematic webinars, which will undoubtedly strengthen our shared knowledge, joint outcomes, and contribute to the global conversation on culture and sustainable development. Building on the background document that was prepared by the Indian Presidency of the G20 to set the ground for our discussion, further complemented by your contributions and insights, let me reiterate India's ambition to kickstart a substantive roadmap on the subject that will be further enriched in the near future by upcoming presidencies. The significance of addressing the illicit trafficking and restitution of cultural property lies at the heart of our collective human identity. We have heard from some of you how much cultural heritage is critical to consolidate communities' narratives and cultural transmission over time. Cultural heritage is a living testimony of our shared history and a crucial element that shapes the social fabric of communities and nations. By taking decisive action against illicit trafficking, we not only preserve the cultural assets that embody our unique identities, but also foster a sense of unity and cooperation among nations. The return and restitution of cultural property extends far beyond the mere act of returning stolen artifacts. It plays a vital role in education, awareness building, as well as facilitating the healing process and fostering the restoration of the dignity of communities whose heritage has been disrupted or fragmented. This requires upfront deliberate investment in building capacity at the national level. It strengthens the bonds between communities and their heritage allowing them to reconnect with their roots and cultural narratives that have shaped their identities over generations on the basis of principles of ethics and equity. In doing so, we empower these communities to embrace their unique cultural expressions, ensuring that their traditions, stories, and values continue to thrive and enrich our shared human experience. By promoting the return and restitution of cultural property, we not only contribute to the preservation and celebration of diverse cultural heritage, but also promote a sense of empathy, understanding, and mutual respect among nations. In the process, we strengthen the integrity and dignity of communities worldwide and acknowledge the invaluable contributions of every culture to our shared history and interconnected future. 
Today's discussion on protection and restitution of cultural property has provided invaluable insights on the effective implementation of the existing international norms like the UNESCO and the UNIDRA conventions along with the important policy tools such as due diligence standards, databases and ICOM red lists. The necessity for enhancing inventorying, documentation, risk management and emergency planning for prevention was underscored as well as the urgency to foster an ethical art market, promote provenance research and ensure transparency, particularly within the G20 member countries and the host that host the largest art markets. Challenges of online trade and the need to strengthen regulation of online trade of cultural property to combat illicit trafficking were also prominently discussed. Raising awareness of the societal impact of illicit trafficking among collectors, museums, galleries and the public were emphasized and the importance of capacity building for various professionals and experts emerged as a key area of concern. Experts also highlighted the need for an open dialogue on the return and restitution of cultural property, strengthening UNESCO's ICPRCP and exploring non-judicial dispute resolution mechanisms, notably through mediation. As we move forward, the G20 Culture Working Group is committed to taking into account all the key takeaways and recommendations from today's discussions that will provide useful insights and guidance into the deliberations of the members of the Culture Working Group that will have the task of shaping the G20 Culture Roadmap in the coming months towards the adoption of a declaration by the G20 Ministers of Culture in August 23 and beyond under the future presidencies of the G20. As already indicated, the Indian Presidency will produce a summary report of the four thematic webinars on the four priorities and these will be widely disseminated to all members as well as to guide the further reflection globally. Today's discussions have laid the groundwork for future collaboration and joint initiatives. Let us continue to foster strong partnerships and maintain an open and inclusive dialogue as we recognize that our collective success depends on our ability to work together and to embrace the diversity of perspectives on these issues on the basis of genuine exchange. I am confident that the dedication and the commitment shown by all the participants today will have a lasting impact on our efforts to protect and preserve cultural heritage around the globe. And together, we will realize the theme of India's G20 Presidency, Vasudhev Kutumbakam, One Earth, One Family, One Future. Once again, I thank you, all of you, for your contributions and your time. And I look forward to our continued work together as we progress in this crucial endeavor through our upcoming webinars on three other priority areas. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.